I didn't finish reading chapter 4 because I got a visitor and who asked me to uh, park and move my car uh, to complete the construction part. Here you go. So I will read the other part. It was much present her at home, thought for Alice, when an audience always growing larger and smaller, and being ordered about my mice rabbit, I almost wish I hadn't gone down that rabbit hole. And yet, and yet, it's rather curious, you know, this all of life. I'd wonder what can have happened to me. I used to read the fairy tale, I fancy the kind of thing never happens, and now here I am, in the middle of one. There ought to be a book written about me, that they're old. And then I grow up, and I'll write once, but I'm grown up now. She had it in a sorrowful tone, at least there's no room to grow up anymore here. But then, thought Alice, shall I never get any older than I am now? There ought to be a comfort. One way is never to be an old woman, but then always to have lessons to run. Oh, I shouldn't like that. Oh, you foolish Alice. She answered a certain, how can you run? Listen, here. Why, there's hardly room for you, and no room at all to go and listen books. And so she went on and taking purse one side and then the DLS and making so quiet at the conversation of it all together. And after a few minutes she heard a voice outside and stopped to listen. Marianne, Marianne, said the voice. Patch me my girls this moment. Then came a little pattering of feet on the stairs, as it was a rabbit coming to look for her. And she um, trumps the chicks that she shook her house, quite forgetting that she was now about a thousand times as large as the rabbit, and, and no reason to be afraid of it. Presently, the rabbit came up to the door and tried to open it. But uh, the door was open inwards, and the Alice Rose was pressed hard against it. That time to prove her failure. Alice hurry say to herself, and I'll go round and get in at the end of you want, thought Alice. And after waiting till she finished, that she heard the rabbit just under the window, and she suddenly spread out her hand and made a snatch in the air. She did not get hold of anything, but she heard a little shriek and a fall and a crash of broken glass from which she concluded that it was just possible it had fallen into a cucumber frame or something of the sort. Next came an angry voice, rabbit, pat pat, where are you? And then a voice she had never heard before. She had then I hear, digging for apples, yeah or not? Digging for apples indeed, said the rabbit angrily, here, can I have me out of this? Sounds of more the broken grass. Now tell me to pat. What's that in the window? Sure, it's an arm. The honor. He pronounced it arm. Arm, and the goose, and whoever says one that saw it, it freeze the whole window. Sure, it is. Yeah, honor, but it's an arm to fool that. Yeah, it's got no business. Yeah, then we go and take it away. There was a long silence after this, and Alice could only hear this person and then, such as, sure, I don't like it. Yeah, honestly, at all, at all. Do as I tell you, you caught. And at last, she spread out her hand again and made a, another snatch in the air. These times, there were two shrieks and no sound of the broken glass. What a number of cucumber frames there must be, thought Alice. I wonder what they will do next. As for pulling me out of the window, I only wish they could, I'm sure. I don't want to say in here any longer. She waited for some time soon without hearing anything more. At last, there came a lumbling of little and 
health fields and, and the sound of the good and many voices all talking together she made out the word with the other letter why I hadn't to bring out one the views got the others be but she here let he had to put on up at these corners and then tore up to get his person they don't reach up the high enough yet to oh there they were enough don't but here to hear you control of this lot will lose there mine lose straight oh just come down as a blow a loud question now with that it was full I punch you who's to go down the chimneys nay I shan't you do it now I won't and then the boost to go down here is the master said that you to go down the chimney oh so boost got going down the chimney as he that I for certain shy and they seem to put servicing up on boost I'll be in this place for a good deal and this fireplace is narrow to be sure but I think I can kick off the show he drew her foot as far down the chimneys as she could and waited there she heard a little animal she couldn't guess up what sort of it was scratching and scrambling about in the chimneys close of her and then saying to herself this is a view she gave one sharp kick and waited to see what would happen next the whole thing she heard was a general chorus of uh, there goes be then the left voice along catching you by the head then silence and then uh, the confusion of voice and hold up she said but now don't check him how is it old fellow what to you tell us about, about it Lost came a little feeble and scraping voice and that's what thought Alice but I have a nose in the worst thing, me. And now it's the brand of to clustered to tell you. All I know is that sometimes something comes at me like a jack in the box. And up I go like a sky like it. So you did, old fellow, said the others. We must burn the house down, said his left voice. And Alice called out as loud as she could. If you do, I'll set dinner at you. There was uh, that silence in the center, and Alice thought, Hussar, I wonder what they will do next. If they had any sense, uh, they take the roof off, and then have a meal or two, they began moving about again. As her loud Satan, a belt will do to begin with. A belt for what? thought Alice, but she had run along to the For the next moment, a shower of little pebbles came rattling at the window, and some of them hit her in the face. I'll put a stop to this, she said to herself and shouted out. You better not do that again, which produced another bad violence. I soon as the reason the fire that the pebble were all turning into the little cakes as they lay on the floors, and a bright idea came into her head. If I ate one of these cakes, she thought, it sure to make some change in my size, and it can't possibly to make me larger. It must make me smaller, I suppose. So she swallowed one of the cakes and was delighted to find that she began shrinking directly. As soon as she, she was small enough to get through the door, she ran out of the house and found quite a crowd of the little animals and birds and waiting outside. The full little lizard, Bill, was in the middle of uh, being held up by two guinea sheep who were giving something out of the bottle. They all made a rush at Alice and the moment she appeared. But she ran up as hard as she could and soon found herself to sit in a thick room. The first thing I've got to do, said Alice to herself, as she wanders about in the world, and is to go to my right side again. And the second thing is to find my way to into that lovely garden. I think that will be the best plan. The sandwiches are excellent friends in the dogs. And the building history and the simple arrangement, the only difficulty was that she had not the smallest idea as to how to set about it, and then why she was furious about anchoring that among the trees a little sharp blocks just uh, over her head uh, made her look up in a great hurry. Her enemies probably was looking down at her uh, with large round eyes, and the people stretching out one pose trying to Teachers, the poor little thing, the other thing is coaching tone, and she tried how to do to it. But she was terribly frightened all the time, as thought, 
started much angry, which is the case. You very likely to eat her up in spite of all her options. All I know is the what she said, and she picked up a little bit of cheek and held it out to the puppy. What happened? The puppy jumped in the air of all its feet at once, uh, with a yelp of delight, and rushed at the stick and uh, made a leave toward it. Then I stood behind a great thistle to keep herself from being run over, and the moment she appeared on the other side, the puppy made another rush at the stick and tumbled head over heels in its hurry to get a hold of it. Then I was thinking it was very like and having a game of play with a car horse and expecting several moments to be trampled on its feet land round the thistle again. Then the puppy began a series of short charges at the stick, running back a little way forward each time, wrong way back and barking for his all the while. Then at last it sat down a good way up Panting the widow, his tongue hanging out of his mouth and his great eyes half shut. This seemed to Alice a good opportunity for making an escape, so she settled at once and ran till she was quite tired out of breath until the puppy spark sounded quite faint in the distance. And that what a dear little puppy it was, said Alice, as she ran and against the polar cup to rest herself and fan. As of the one of the leaves, I should have liked the decisions, the tricks very much, if I'd only been the right side of it. The dear, I the nearest person that I've got to grow again. Let me see as to how is it to be managed. I suppose I'll do it. The dream, something wider, is about the great question. What? The great question certainly was what? Alice would go round her head to flowers and the braids of the grass. But she did not see anything that looked like a thing to eat or drink and under circumstances. There were a lot of mushrooms growing near her, about the same height as the side. And um, when she had a look under it, and on both sides of it, and behind it, it occurred to her that she might as well to look and see what was on top of it. She stressed herself of on tiptoe and the feet of the edge of the mushroom and her eyes immediately met those of the large caterpillar that was sitting on the top to with his arms folded and quietly smoking a long hookah and taking not the smallest uh, notice of her or anything else. Smoking a long hookah, caterpillar. Smoking caterpillar. Yes. Done.